After the successful landing of the Chandrayaan-3 mission on the moon, the Aditya L1 was successfully launched from Shehari Kota today. The rocket carried the observatory class satellite with precision to its intended orbit. Two, one, zero. Plus five seconds. Lift off normal. P1 tracking. P3 tracking. Plus Magnificent lift off of PSLV C57 with Aditya L1 on board. The chief of the Indian Space Research Organization confirmed the successful launch and the injection of the Aditya L1 module in the desired orbit. Congratulations. Uh, the Aditya L1 spacecraft has been injected in an elliptical orbit of 235 by 19,500 kilometer, which is intended very precisely by the PSLV, very unique mission mode here with the upper stage of the PSLV taking two burn sequence for injecting the primary satellite for the first time. So I want to congratulate PSLV for such a very different mission approach today to do this mission of Aditya L1 to put it in, in the right orbit. Now from now, the Aditya L1 will take its uh, journey after some earth maneuvers it will start its journey to the L1 point, a uh, very long journey of almost 125 days. So let us wish all the very best to Aditya spacecraft. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi posted on the social media platform X, previously known as Twitter, and congratulated the Indian Space Agency for its monumental success. The PSLV C-57 is the 59th flight of India's workhorse polar satellite launch vehicle. It is ISRO's 25th mission using this configuration. The rocket launched the Aditya L-1 spacecraft into a highly eccentric Earth-bound orbit. Up next, the spacecraft will perform orbital maneuvers to reach the Sun-Earth Lagrange point L-1. This point is 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Aditya L-1's chief mission scientist said that the mission is unique as no other international mission has the payloads that the Aditya L-1 carries. Capability to... Uh, uh, send observatory class missions anywhere in the interplanetary medium. Um, ISRO also is developing capability for small satellite missions uh, uh, like a nanosat, uh, CubeSat, as well as the small satellite capability. And that is something which, uh, especially a heliophysics community, could utilize it because we can, at a low cost, we can launch many more such instruments which are essential for heliophysics uh, community here in India. This mission will now venture into space and study solar activities as well as its effect on space weather. Here is how the Aditya L1 is going to study the sun from space. The spacecraft will study the dynamics of the upper solar atmosphere. It will study partially ionized plasma. It will observe the particle dynamics from the sun and also the heating mechanism of the moon. It will record the temperature, velocity and density of coronal loops. The magnetic sensors will observe field measurements around the sun. Aditya L1 will also identify sequences of solar processes. These processes include those which can lead to eruptions such as solar flares. The spacecraft carries seven scientific payloads for systematic study of the sun. All payloads are indigenously developed in collaboration with various ISRO centers and scientific institutes. Now, following Aditya Elwan's successful launch, Beyond Senior Correspondent Siddharth MP sent us this report from Shihari Kota. Take a look. We're coming to you at a time when an Indian spacecraft is lifting off on its maiden mission to study the sun. This, of course, is the start of a journey that is 1.5 million kilometers long. We're talking about the Aditya L1 spacecraft that's riding atop the PSLV XL rocket. So XL is the largest variant of the PSLV rocket. So clear skies here in Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. You can see the majestic blaze as the vehicle lifts off. You can see clear skies for at least few kilometers from here. The solid motors boom will be heard. And this is the moment that everyone has been waiting for. This is a mission that's lasting, launch mission, lasting one hour long. Characteristic boom here, roaring around this place. And clear skies giving clear visibility of this majestic launch. This is a mission that will last one hour. 
and thereafter it's a 125 day long journey for the Aditya L1 spacecraft as it heads to its vantage point known as L1 or Lagrange point 1 this is not just a significant mission for the spacecraft but this is a major mission also for the rocket because this marks 30 years of service of the PSLV rocket PSLV rocket first flew in September 1993 and here we are in September 2023 PSLV flying in its 59th mission this is a vehicle that's taken India to the moon India to Mars and now taking India to study the Sun from a vantage point the Aditya L1 is a crucial mission it will help India study the Sun uh, from a vantage point for five years and longer in fact the key goals of Aditya L1 is to study the Sun's outermost layer known as the solar corona and study the phenomena that erupt over there known as coronal mass ejections because coronal mass ejections in the long run could prove very harmful for satellites when it comes in the field of view of satellites coronal mass ejections could damage damage the satellite electronics and impede their function. It can also cause power outages on Earth. This is a satellite meant to study all these phenomena in high detail and then give ISRO data. And this is also data that will benefit the global scientific community. With video journalist Chandra Shekhar from Sri Kota, Siddharth MP, We On World Is One. We On World Is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.